rest of the stories now in a bid to outline plans to mitigate road traffic accidents and related matters in the country the national health authority together with uh, different stakeholders in the transport sector wednesday held a press conference to discuss key areas in the, the traffic regulations which include the construction of new roads discussion was based on traffic adherence and safety of pedestrians and the usage of the newly built roads. Now, the National Road Authority has, however, raised concerns over the high rate of accidents on the newly roads, uh, which uh, are perceived as a threat to public safety. As the journey tells us more of that in this report. Authorities of the National Road Authority has expressed concern over the lack of traffic adherence to the regulation and laws governing road safety, which according to them has resulted to cause of many traffic accidents in the country. The NRA official revealed that the high speeding on the newly built road has become one of the main cause of the high rate of accidents in the Gambia. Amid this prevailing situation, pedestrians and other road users are becoming more worried about their safety while using the road. Usman Sanyang, the managing director of the National Road Authority, has outlined plans that the NRA want to deploy to heighten public awareness on the road safety, especially for motor vehicles. Mr. Sanyang also speaks on the road crossing issue, which he perceives as a major challenge to the persons with, with disabilities and children trying to cross the road. The very first thing is the pedestrian crossings. Um, as you can see, and crossing six lanes of traffic is really hard for a lot of people. Um, even able-bodied people find it difficult to do this, much more the physically um, not able people. So these are people with children crossing, people with um, severe um, handicap in terms of mobility. The president of the General Transport Union, Omar Sisi, also highlighted some concerns about the road traffic accidents and their causes. The 1995% of accidents is human behavior, including drivers, sometimes roads, sometimes even the police or the general public. So together, let's work together and make sure makes things different. Because we are all a victim of accidents. We all lose our families, our money, our, our properties on the road accidents. So what we can do, let's come together. Let's stop the blame games. It's Mr. A or Mr. B. We can work together. You are the cause of accident, I'm the cause of accidents. Based on our behaviors. So let's try to change our behavior, starting from us. Lamin King Kulik, Commissioner for Mobile Traffic under the Gambia Police Force, also set lights on the high rate of accident on the newly built road. If I may give you the results, the temporary results we have on accidents which occurred on this newly built road, and it's not even officially open, you will be shocked. In our data, we recorded 112 accidents from Yundum down to Senegambi which involves 16 fatalities. And then the overall accident for this period, 2023, went over 1,210, of which 148 people, governments, lost their life and non governments despite several initiated measures to minimize road accidents in the Gambia. The teeny West African nation remains as one of the countries with high rate of deaths and injury caused by road accidents, which have left its citizens more worried. Environmental factors such as poor visibility are among the causes of road traffic accidents in the Gambia. 50% of road accidents in the Gambia in 2016 are said to be due to the negligence of drivers and mechanical factors accounting for 17 percent the gambia road conditions particularly during the raining season which generally lasts from june to october especially in the greater banyan area many are poorly maintained and poorly lit reporting for iAfrican african news i am isa tujani